Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Father, the ones you loved, yes, the ones you made, yes, the ones you saved, yes, the ones you called out, yes, we have come to worship you. Yes, Lord. We have come to say thank you. Yes, Lord. We have come to acknowledge who you are. Yes. We have come to acknowledge your power in our lives. Yes. We have come to acknowledge your mercy. Yes. We have come to acknowledge your grace. Yes. We have come to say to you, O oh God, yes. but for you, but for you, but for you, Lord, where would we be? We have come to confess that you are the one that sustains us. You are the one that keeps us. You are the one that holds us together. You are the one that gives us the cause to smile. You are the reason, oh Lord God, why we get up in the morning. You are the reason, oh Lord God, why we can laugh. You are the reason, oh Lord God, why we can sing. You are the reason, oh Lord God, why we are still alive. Father God, the ones you made, the ones you saved, the ones you love, Lord, we have come to worship you. We have come to worship you. We have come to worship you. Oh, yes, Lord, we have come to worship you. We have come to worship you. Father, we bless your name this evening. Jehovah, we bless your name this evening. We say thank you, O Lord God. Thank you, King of glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. Our God is good. Father God, we just commit our session this evening before your throne of grace. This is the beginning of our praying and fasting weekend, O Lord God. And Lord, we have waited on you today. Our eyes our heart, our minds, Father God, they have been focused on you today. Lord, today we deliberately, we purposefully come to say thank you. We deliberately, we purposefully come to worship you. Today, oh Lord God, we say that this encounter session, we enter, oh Lord God, with thanksgiving. We enter, Father God, we praise in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We dance into, Father God, what you have planned for us. We are dancing into it. We are dancing into it. We are singing into it. Oh, Lord God, we are praising into it. We are thanking into it. Father God, we know that as we purposefully, Father God, come before your throne this evening, Lord, we will not leave the same way that we came. Lord, we will touch you, oh Lord. We will touch you. And power will come from you. It will come from you to us in the name of Jesus. The power to heal. The power to restore. The power to redeem. The power to edify. The power to save. The power to change the power to correct, the power to bless. Father God, that power will be poured out on us today in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the King of glory and praise the Lord of lords. Hallelujah. Thank you all for joining this session. Today is the start of our encounter weekend. And during our encounter weekend, it is a four day prayer and fasting um, time. Praise the Lord. And we started today. And I know that God is really ready. He's ready to bless. He's ready to unleash his power towards us power for good in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Father, we bless you Hallelujah. and we worship you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I would like us to spend the next two, three minutes just praying in the spirit. And as we do this, I would like us to have 
Psalm 100 and 100 verse 4 as we do this. So I want it to be, even though we're praying in the spirit, I would like us to pray with thanksgiving, with praise, with worship, you know, in our hearts and in our minds. Praise the Lord. Let that be what we are sending out to the Holy Spirit right now. Praise the Lord. We're sending out praise. We're sending out worship. Hallelujah. We're entering this encounter with praise. Hallelujah. We're entering this encounter with praise. Hallelujah. We will enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. We'll give thanks to him and we'll praise his name. We need to count our blessings. We need to name them one by one. Let's just begin to pray in the spirit. Kashenteria rabosa, kazenderia na mason toroboshe, karina makoro rabosa ndaraboska, beshinde kiria na mason torobobobobobobo, akarina mason doroboshinde kiria rabose, rakaka kara na mason doroboshinde ria rabosa. Reke ke 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 rana mason toro bo shinde kiri arabo santa. Raka zoto ro bo 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 shinde kiri arabo sa. Raka zondo ro bo shinde kiri arabo sende kiri arabo sa. Reka shinde kiri ana ma 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 ma. Roko zonto ro bo shinde kiri arabo se kiri arabo sa. Raka kaka ka rana masondo robo shikeri arabo satata ekeri na masondo robo shinde kiri arabo sa yerebo kari na masanda robo kuri arabo shikeri arabo sanda raba bekeri na masondo robo bo 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 kari na masikeri arabo se kiri arabo sanda Reka shinde kiri ana masonto robo shikeri araba se teri arabo bo bo bo. Ore be kiri ana masonto robo shinde kiri arabo se teri araba se teri da 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 da. Be kiri na masonto robo kuri ana masonto robo kuri arabo sata. Be shinde kiri araba sende kiri arabo sa. Karana masinde kiri arabo sende. Re kiri ana masonto robo kuri. Kiri araba se kiri arabo sanda, be kiri na mason torobo shi kiri arabo saka. Yere bo sha kiri na mason deri arabo se kiri araba senderi ba 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 ba. Ra kiri na mason torobo shinde kiri arabo kiri arabo sata. Yere bo 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 kiri na mason kiri arabo sende kiri arabo sata. Reko shinde kiri araba ba 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 rana ma kiri ana ma sondo robo she kiri arabo se kiri arabo sanda arabo sa breke yerebo sha kiri ana ma sondo robo kura da 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 re de 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 kiri ana ma sondo robo shinde kiri araba se kiri arabo sa. Eyere bo 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 kura da da ba 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 ba. Reko jende kiri ana ma kari ana ma sondo robo shinde. Reko zunto robo shi kiri ana ba kiri ana ma soto robo bo 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 bo. Reke ri da 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 da. Kiri ana ma sondo robo shinde kiri ana bo sa. Reka shinde kiri ana ma sondo robo bo 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 bo. Kiri ana ma shinde de kiri ara bo se kiri ra ba so toro bo sha karana ma 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 reko zondo ro bo she kiri ra ba 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 re na ma she de kiri ra bo sanda ra ba kiri ra bo sanda ra ba 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 karana ma she de kiri ra bo sa karaba yere bo 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 kiri ra bo sha zanda ra ba kiri ra ba kiri ra ra ba 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 kiri ra bo sanda in Jesus mighty name amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, Amen. Father God, we come with thanksgiving in our hearts. Yes, Lord. Father God, we come with praise on our lips. Yes, Lord. Father God, we come with a new song bubbling in our spirit. Yes, Father God, we've come to say thank you. Thank you 
Lord, we've come to praise you. Thank you. Father God, to acknowledge that there is no one but you. Yes, you are Alpha, you are Omega, you are you, you are the beginning, you are the end. Father God, you are higher than the highest, bigger than the biggest, wiser than the wisest. Yes. There is no one like you. You are our El Shaddai. You are the all-sufficient one. You are our Jehovah Sidkenu. You are our God, our righteousness. You are everything. You are the I am that I am. And Father God, we have just come to say thank you. We have come to say thank you. Take all the glory, Lord. Take all the praise. Receive all honor, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Ephesians 1.3 says, Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ who has blessed us in the heavenly realms with every spiritual blessing in Christ. Hallelujah. He has blessed us in the heavenly realms with every spiritual blessing in Christ. Hallelujah. Whatever it is that we need, God has given us. He's given us the gift of righteousness. He's given us the gift of health. He's given us the gift of wealth. Hallelujah. Whatever, in every area of our lives, in our relationships, we are meant to prosper. Praise the Lord. Our relationships are meant to bring us joy. They are there to be a help to us. They are there to be a source of comfort to us. God has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in Christ. Hallelujah. So you and I are blessed. I want us to thank God for this. I want us to say, Father, thank you. Thank you for my life. Thank you for salvation. Thank you for the blood of Jesus that has redeemed me. Thank you, Father God, that sickness cannot get the better of me. You have blessed me with every spiritual blessing in Christ. Thank you for joy in the Lord. Thank you for peace. Thank you for righteousness because it is your righteousness that I I I, I have I have that has been poured on me that I have. It is your righteousness. You are Jehovah Sidkenu. Thank you for sanctification. You are Jehovah Mekidesh. You are my sanctifier. Now just begin to thank him. Thank him. Thank him. Let's open our mouths wherever we are and begin to thank him. Whatever you're thanking God for in terms of every spiritual blessing on Instagram, please just begin to Acknowledge it. Type it out. Let's know what you're thanking God for. I'm thanking God for my salvation. I'm thanking God for my my life. I'm thanking God for redeeming me. I'm thanking God for grace. I'm thanking God for peace. I'm thanking God for joy. I'm thanking God for brotherly love. I'm thanking God for all the spiritual blessings that he has blessed me with, blessed us with. Father, we thank you. Jehovah, we give you praise. I'm thanking God for forgiveness. Hallelujah. Because he forgives, I can be where I am today because he has forgiven. Oh, I'm thanking God. Thanking God for every spiritual blessing in Christ Jesus. God has given us every spiritual blessing. Father, we thank you. Jehovah, we give you praise. King of glory, we worship you. Oh, yes, Lord. I'm thanking God for his grace. Oh, karana mashinde kiriarabosa taraba. Oh, thanking you, O Lord God, for your love. I'm thanking you for the love of people, O Lord God. Lord, I'm thanking you for joy because the joy of the Lord is my strength. Lord, I'm thanking you for a peace that passes all understanding. Oh, I'm thanking you, Lord God, for your loving kindness. Father God, I'm thanking you for the gift of patience. 
Rabasotoroboshinde. Thanking you, O Lord God, Karana Mashinde Kiri Rabo Senderiba, for your faithfulness. Karana Mashikeri Rabo Seteri Rabo Sende. Thanking you, Father God, for victory in every area. Victory against hot temperedness, victory against rage, victory against malice. Father God, I'm thanking you for victory. Victory to be called your child, to live as your child. Lord, I'm giving you praise. Jehovah, I'm thanking you. Thank you, oh Lord God. Thank you. Yes, Lord, this child, this woman you saved (laughs) has come to give you thanks. This woman you saved, Lord, has come to praise you. This woman you called has come to praise you. Yerabo karabasende, rakazoto roboshinda, keyena na 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 na, kariana masoto, breka ukozeke, rika zoto robobobo, zanda keriana mashuntu, rokozeke rida da 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 da, rokozinde kiriera bo se keriera bo sende. Oh, Father, we thank you. Jehovah, we give you praise. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Really, today, we're just going to praise our way into the presence of God. That is what we're coming to do. We're coming to praise away. The Bible tells us in Psalm 22 that he inhabits the praise of his people. We are making a very deliberate, purposeful decision to praise our way into this season of encounter in the name of Jesus. And in doing that, we will recover all in the mighty name Amen. of Jesus. Because we're en- this is our season encounter to recover in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. As we come in, with praise as we come in with worship as we come in acknowledging that only him but for him but for jesus but for god but for the holy spirit but for the trinity as we come with that mindset as we come with that in our hearts and in our spirit there is nothing that jehovah will not do for us today in the mighty name of jesus nothing praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah Hallelujah. Our key scripture for this period is taken from 2 Peter chapter 1, verses 1 to 11. And I would just like to read that and then we're going to take some prayer points. Hallelujah. All in the same spirit of thanksgiving. Hallelujah. So it starts 2 Peter 1, verse 1. Simon Peter, a servant and apostle of Jesus Christ, to those who through the righteousness of our God and Savior have received a faith as precious as ours, grace and peace be yours in abundance through the knowledge of God and of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I want to say grace and peace be yours in abundance in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Receive an abundance of his grace. Receive an abundance of his peace in Jesus' mighty name. Receive an abundance of his grace. Receive an abundance of his peace. Hallelujah. He says, through our knowledge or through the knowledge of God and of our Lord Jesus Christ. Verse 3. His divine power has given us everything we need for a godly life through our knowledge of him who called us by his own glory and goodness. Hallelujah. I want to say right now that in the name of Jesus, he is your glory and he's the lifter up of your head. In the mighty name of Jesus, he lifts your head high. In Jesus' name, he lifts your head high. Your head will never be bowed in shame. In the mighty name of Jesus, he lifts your head high. He is your glory and he is the lifter up of your head. Your head will never be bowed in shame. Never. In the mighty name of Jesus, God is your glory. 
and he will lift your head high in the mighty name of Jesus. You will arise and you will shine in the mighty name of Jesus. You will do exploits in the mighty name of Jesus because God's abundance of grace and peace is upon you in the mighty name of Jesus. Therefore, in Jesus' mighty name, your head will never be bowed in shame. You will never get to a place where God will not come through for you in the mighty name of Jesus. You will never come to a dead end. There is no situation that would ever be a dead end for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Because God's abundance of grace and peace has been poured upon you in the mighty name of Jesus. His divine power has given you everything for health and godliness in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Verse 4. Through these he has given us his very great and precious promises, so that through them you may participate in the divine nature, having escaped the corru corruption in the world caused by evil desires. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Verse 5. For this very reason, make every effort to add to your faith goodness and to goodness, knowledge, and to knowledge, self-control, and to self-control, perseverance, and to perseverance, godliness, and to godliness, mutual affection, and to mutual affection, love. For if you possess these qualities in increasing measure, they will keep you from being ineffective and unproductive in your knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. I just want to say that you will always be productive in your knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. You will not enter the fold of those that are unproductive in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. It says, but verse 9, but whoever does not have them is nearsighted and blind, forgetting that they have been cleansed from their past sins. Therefore, my brothers and sisters, make every effort to confirm your calling and election. For if you do these things, you will never stumble and you will receive a rich welcome into the eternal kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So this, along with Psalm 100 verse 4, along with Hebrews 13, 15, and 16. These are our theme scriptures for this period. Hallelujah. And I will encourage each and every one of us to take time to read them, meditate on them, and ask the Holy Spirit. Say, Holy Spirit, speak to me through all this. Praise the Lord. Today's prayer meeting, in addition to coming in with thanks, one thing that we keep hearing in this verse is knowledge of God. Praise the Lord. In verse 2, it says, Grace and peace be yours in abundance through the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord. Hallelujah. In verse 3, it says, His divine power has given us everything we need for a godly life through our knowledge of Him who called us by his own glory and goodness. Hallelujah. Amen. In verse 8, it says, For if you possess these qualities in increasing measure, they will keep you from being ineffective and unproductive in your knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ is so important. Praise the Lord. And as I keep on thinking about our theme scripture for our month, that is, you know, um, 1 Samuel 30 verse 8, where God told David that he will pursue, he will overtake, and he will doubtless recover all. When we read, take that scripture into context, the reason why David was able to hear from God was because he knew God. Praise the Lord. 
when he was about to be stoned, when he was about to be, um, yet when he was about to be stoned by his own people, he did. He ran to what he knew best. He ran to God. He said, "Bring me the ephod. Let me speak to God. Let me talk to God." He encouraged himself in the Lord. He encouraged himself in God. Hallelujah. We need to have a walking knowledge. We need to have a productive knowledge. Verse 8 says, if we have these in increasing measures, it will stop us from being unproductive in our knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. So we can have knowledge, but it will not be productive because there are certain things we need to do and certain things we need to exercise ourselves in. So we have to ask today, our one request today is that if there is anything, any distraction, if there is anything, any obstacle, any stronghold, any habit, whatever it is that stops us from knowing God more and more, we are going to ask God today to take it away. Praise the Lord. We are saying, Father, in the name of Jesus, we give you permission to remove from us anything that stands between us and having an increased productive knowledge of you. Brothers and sisters, let us pray. Just begin to pray in the spirit. Reko zekeri na mashinderi da 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 da. Roko zekeri na mashonto robo kuri na masonto. Brekari da 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 ba 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 ba. Kari na mashonto robo sa. Reko jinde kiri ra bo sekeri ra bo sekeri ra ba 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 ba. Roko jinde kiri ra bo sekeri ra bo sende kiri ra da 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 da. Father, in the name of Jesus, if there are any situations, if there are any obstacles, if there are any barriers, if there are any strongholds, Father God, whether it's a habit, whether it's a circumstance, whatever it is, O oh Lord God, that will stop me from spending time in knowing you, acquiring knowledge, productive knowledge of you. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Father God, may I remove them in Jesus' name. Father God, in the blood of Jesus, I plead over that situation. Father God, the fire of the Holy Ghost, I send into that situation that it must be removed in the mighty name of Jesus. Karabo any situation, anything that comes against an increasing knowledge of you, an increasing productive knowledge of you, Father God, I come against it. Oh, Rakasoto Toto, Holy Spirit, Haranamosa Taraba, Kerianama Shuntorobos, Karababa, Rekoson Torobos, Karierabosiki, Raka Hikerianama Son Torobobobobobobobo, Roko Shikerida, Karianama Soto. Roko Zenda, Yerabo, let your divine power ha ha ha. Roko Zende Kiriara Basoto Robobobobobobobobo. Raka Jinde, let your divine power stand alongside me. Let your divine power, Holy Spirit, stand alongside me. Let it bubble from within me. Let it destroy everything, everything that presents itself as an obstacle, presents itself as a barrier presents itself as a, as, a, a, as a stronghold that stops me from having quality time, from growing in my knowledge of you, whatever it is, by whatever name, every distraction. Father God, your divine power, we move it, we shift it, we take it away completely and totally in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Jehovah, we give you praise in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, our God is good. There is none like him. He is Alpha and Omega. He's the beginning and he's the end. Father, we bless you. 
King of glory, we worship you. Thank you, Father. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Our God is good. Our God is good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The promise we received for this week was from Deuteronomy chapter 14 and verse 2. That says that you are a people holy to the Lord your God. Out of all the peoples on the face of the earth, the Lord has chosen you to be his treasured possession. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Oh, Kiriyarabo Sata. Jende Kiriyarabo Sata. Hallelujah. You are Jehovah's treasured possession. Rekozotorobo Shinde. Rakazotorobo Shinde Kiriyarabosa. Rekozende Kiriyarabo Santa. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Ha, our God is good. Ah, now somebody will be saying, oh, this is Old Testament, yeah? Old Testament. But I can tell you that that every scripture is relevant to us today. But let me bring us closer home to the New Testament. Hallelujah. For those of you who are very New Testament minded. Now listen to 1 Peter 2.9 and I'm going to read it. Praise the Lord. 1 Peter 2.9. I'm going to read it. Hallelujah. In two translations. Let me read it in the New Living Trans, New International Version that says, But you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special possession. Hallelujah. That you may declare the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. Verse 10 says, once you were not a people, but now you are the people of God. Once you had not received mercy, but now you have received mercy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm expecting to see some lots of hallelujahs. Praise the Lord. Now listen to it in the Passion Translation. But you are God's chosen treasure. Priests who are kings, a spiritual nation set apart as God's devoted ones. He called you out of darkness to experience his marvelous light. And now he claims you as his very own. He did this so that you would broadcast his glorious wonders throughout the world. Hallelujah. I just want to say to somebody today that your testimony would broadcast God's glorious wonders throughout the world. Hallelujah. Your testimony, what God is going to do for you, what he will use you to accomplish is going to broadcast God's wonders, is going to broadcast God's goodness throughout the world. If you receive it, shout Hallelujah. hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Verse 10 in the Passion Translation says, For at one time you were not God's people, but now you are. At one time you knew nothing of God's mercy because you hadn't received it, but now you are drenched with it. Hallelujah. hallelujah. You are drenched with God's mercy. There is now therefore no condemnation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, because you are now drenched with God's mercy, because you are now God's chosen treasure. Hallelujah. Hey, karabo sataraba. You are now God's chosen treasure. You are priests who are kings. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you and we give you praise. Hallelujah. So I just want you now for maybe two minutes just to begin to thank God for who you are. Hallelujah. You are his chosen treasure. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? Just declare, say, I am God's chosen treasure. I am his special possession. I am his treasured possession. He has called me 
He has chosen me. That is, he, this is a divine choice. <laughs> I cannot go wrong. I cannot go wrong. I will always be victorious. I will always win because of who I am. I am God's chosen treasure. I'm a priest who is also royal. I'm a priest who is also royal. Karabo satarabo shinde. Ha ha ha. Yes. And say that my testimony, my testimony will show the world the wonders of God's goodness. My testimony. My testimony would broadcast God's wonders to the whole world. Now begin to say that, begin to confess it, begin to declare my testimony, my testimony, my testimony will broadcast God's wonders to the whole world. My testimony, my testimony. Father God, we thank you. Jehovah, we give you praise. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, our God is good. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Father, we thank you. Jehovah, we give you praise. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. 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 Hallelujah. There's someone who has joined us who felt that their situation had become dicey and was at the point of giving up. Can I just say something to you that the Holy Spirit has laid in my heart? And what he has laid in my heart is to repeat to you that your testimony your testimony, your testimony will declare God's wonders to the whole world. So do not give up. Do not give up. Hang in there. Just fellowship with Jesus. Just remain in worship. Remain praising. The truth is that you are his treasured possession. You are his treasure. He will see to it that your testimony declares his wonders to the whole world. Hallelujah. Just receive that. Don't give up. Do not give up. Do not give up. Just say that that is not an option. The enemy will not steal your joy. No way. The enemy will not steal your joy. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 In the few minutes we have left, I just want us to now begin to pray for the land where you're joining us from. Pray for the UK. Pray for Nigeria. Pray for the US. Pray for Canada. Pray for South Africa. Pray for these nations. Just leave them up before the throne of grace. Within these nations, there are children of God who live there. Let's just pray that God will step into the situations in these countries and that he will bring around a turnaround. Just begin to pray. Pray for the peace of these nations. Just pray. You are standing in the gap. We are watchmen and watchwomen standing in the gap on behalf of these nations. I want us to also begin to pray for the church of the living God in these nations. The church is, the, we are the called out ones. We are the ones that God has said that we are priests and kings. We are priests and we are royal people. That is who we are. So I just want us to pray for the church of the living God. Pray for the church in Nigeria. Pray for the church in the UK. Pray for the church in the US. Pray for the church in South Africa. Pray for the church in Canada. Pray for the church in Nigeria. 
just lift the church before the throne of grace. Pray for strength. Pray God's peace. The church generally all over the world is facing a lot of persecution. Just pray that God will give us strength. The Bible says that it's God that gives us great endurance and encouragement. Let the Holy Spirit himself encourage his church. Let us move forward with strength. Let us move forward with power. Let us move forward with understanding. Let us move forward knowing that God has got our back, that he's standing beside us. Let us move forward knowing that he's our vanguard and he's our rear guard. Hallelujah. Just give God praise. Just worship him. Thank God for the church of the living God. I want us to now pray for Fountain of Life Church worldwide. I want us to remember Fountain of Life Church. God has called us for a purpose and we will fulfill purpose in the name of Jesus. I want us to pray for all the branches. Pray for the branches in Lagos. Pray for headquarters. Pray for the branches in West Africa. Pray for the branches in South Africa. Pray for the branch in U.S. Just leave these branches up before the throne of grace. There is a reason why God allowed these branches and allowed us to be where we are. Now, let us say that we will fulfill purpose. God has called us. He says that we are his treasured possession. He has something for us. He says that our lives will declare his wondrous works to the whole world. These churches will make an impact for Christ in the name of Jesus. Souls will come in. Souls will be saved. Souls will be edified in the mighty name of Jesus. Just raise your voice and begin to talk to God concerning Fountain of Life Church. We have been established. God has established us for a purpose and we will fulfill purpose in the mighty name of Jesus. I want us to now begin to pray for the set man, Pastor Taiwo Dukoya. Pray for Pastor Nomti. Lift them up before the throne of grace. Pray for their biological children. Thank God for their lives and declare that their lives will constantly draw people to the Lord Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus, they will prosper in all areas. They will prosper spiritually. They will prosper emotionally. They will prosper in their relationships. They will bring joy to people within their sphere of influence in the mighty name of Jesus. Indeed, their lives will be a testimony to God's wonders in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray for an increase in unction. Pray for an increase in anointing. To pray for an increase in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. And that knowledge will profit much in the mighty name of Jesus. Now, just want you to now begin to pray for Fountain London. Just thank God. This is our 10th year. Just thank God that God has brought us this far. He has sustained us, but for him, but for him. But our Jehovah has been faithful. Through all the ups and downs, God has been solidly behind us. He has given us, oh, it's just too much. I'm overwhelmed with gratitude to all that God has done for us, the mercy he has lavished on us, the grace he has lavished on us. Declare concerning Fountain London that we will fulfill purpose in the mighty name of Jesus. He will, will fulfill purpose in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Jehovah, we give you praise. King of glory, we bless you. We worship you. Thank you for everyone, oh Lord God. Thank you for the ministry. Thank you for what you're doing within us, through us, oh Lord God. Father God, our impact will go far and wide in the name of Jesus. Yes, yes. We are like the sedentary, oh Lord God, that is strong, 
sending roots deep down in the mighty name of Jesus. The fragrance of us, Father God, reaches so many places in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Father, we thank you. Thank you for all you have done. Thank you for our new building. Thank you, Father God, for that place that you've found for us, for that place that we're entering into. Father, we thank you. We give you praise in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Father, for in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. Our God is good. Father, we thank you. Jehovah, we give you praise in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you for joining us. I just want to remind you once more that you are indeed God's treasured possession. You are a royal priesthood. You are a holy nation. God has called you so that you will declare his praises. Therefore, any situation that is troubling you right now, that is coming so that Jehovah will be glorified. Because by the time God has sorted everything out, you will declare his wonders to the world. I want to remind you that he is your glory and he is the lifter up of your head. That your head will never be bowed in shame in the mighty name of Jesus. I want to tell you that the love of God follows you. The peace of God follows you. I just want to let you know that you have been drenched with the mercy of God in the mighty name of Jesus. At every point in turn, God's mercy will speak for you. God's mercy will declare for you. God's mercy will hold you up in the mighty name of Jesus. I also want to let you know that you are destined for success in the mighty name of Jesus. I also want to remind you that you are running a race that you are destined to win in the mighty name of Jesus. You are running a race that you are destined to win in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for being part of this prayer meeting. We thank God for your answered prayers because we know that as you have praised him, he has inhabited your praise. And where God has made his dwelling, things happen. His power is released. Hallelujah. Power for good. Power to move you from one level to the next has been released into your life today. So just shout a hallelujah to our great and mighty Jehovah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Our God is good all the time. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Father, we thank you and we give you praise in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. So our encounter weekend continues. Tomorrow is the night vigil. Okay. It's at the um, Hampstead Hotel, Hampstead Britannia Hotel, Primrose Hill, West London. The details are on all our postings on social media, WhatsApp, whatever. So you will you will find where the details are. It, um, doors open at 8.30 and we will start our vigil. So please join us. We're still praying. We're still fasting. We're still looking at the scriptures I said earlier on. Our key and main scripture is 2 Peter chapter 1 from verses 1 to 11. And we continue fasting on Saturday and on Sunday, we are fasting and we are in church for our anointing and communion service. It's going to be an awesome service. It's going to be a really powerful service. So please invite everyone and ensure that they do come. Praise the Lord. Make it an effort to bring somebody to church. Hallelujah. Because they will be blessed. And you will be blessed as well because you have done something good. You have shared something good with them. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We also take an offering and that offering goes towards our building fund. If you need the um, account details, please direct message us. Someone will get in touch with you with those details. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So thank you all. I know you've been blessed. 
and I know that I will see you all tomorrow evening and with all your friends and family as you bring them for our all night um, or half night of prayer. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us share the grace in the fellowship. Grace May Lord the grace Lord of Jesus our Lord Jesus Christ, Christ the, the love of God, God and the sweet and fellowship, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, Spirit rest and abide, abide with us now, now and forevermore. forevermore. Amen. Amen. Surely God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set us free from the law of sin and death. And so sin shall not have dominion over us for the same spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwells inside of us and quickens our mortal bodies to the glory of his holy name. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you all. Have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful evening. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.